Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're making a video on um, this guy here. Just received it a couple of days ago and uh, gonna be assembling it and I'll show you the the end result when I'm done. So that'll probably take me about half an hour or maybe one hour. See you soon. So everything is out of the box now, ready for assembly. Yeah, this is a greenhouse. So it's one of uh, four greenhouses that I'm gonna end up with. So I've got another one coming after this. So let's get this started. Let's put this Let's put him together. Very elementary instructions. Basically, only what parts are in the box and what it's meant to look like. So, it doesn't get any more simple than this. Yep. All right, we have the the basic foundation and more to come. All right, this is like 45 minutes later and um, I'm just past the halfway mark, guys. So it looks like it's gonna be a one hour job. Yeah, as a... Uh, simple as it all looks there's a bit of work involved all right we're almost there this is around three quarters of the way we've put on the first roof part had to remove two pots from here have them down there they were um touching the the top of the greenhouse so I'm just going to have to rearrange these uh, hanging pots. Yep. It's taking me, it's like it's been an hour now. It's because I've been putting them in the wrong way. Took all these out, put other ones back in. I screwed it up. So I repeated everything twice. It's really a half an hour job, but it's going to take me an hour and a half. The first time the sec if i did it again it's half an hour because these are not instructions <laughs> you only get a diagram this is it you're working with this diagram that's your instruction look at it look closely yeah thanks all righty we got ourselves a greenhouse guys an hour and a half later, or hour and 20. So uh, all that's remaining now is the cover. Right? A walk-in greenhouse. So let's do it. Let's finish this, let's finish this bad boy off. So there it is guys, all done. It's all put together. Took me over an hour and a half actually. Almost two hours, which is ridiculous. And uh, that's not all. I have a complaint already. Even before I um, even before I walked in there, there was a glitch. So before I show you the glitch, this is the greenhouse. Pretty roomy, right? More than enough room. Pretty happy about that. Happy about the size. Happy about the um, construction, right? These lift off. I wanted it mainly for trays, for seedlings. That was the main purpose. And a few pots back there, although I could have got the smaller model, which would have been up to here. So I could just walk in here and have the trays along here so it wouldn't be so wide. And looking back now, in hindsight, maybe I should have got the 
the narrower model. They had a, this is 1.5 meters. They had a 1.2 meter model because this is all dead space in the middle. All dead space. But I'm going to try to fill it in with a, a um, what do you call it, um, a stand at the end there, right, with um, two trays. So I can use the back space back there. And here in the front, I can put some pots. So I'm going to use um, at least half of this open dead space. Now the complaint, this is the complaint. As soon as I pulled the cover, or I unwrapped the cover, this is what I found. A rip. It came with a rip, free of charge, at no extra cost. How do you like that? Hmm? And I'm really pissed. I put it together anyway. My wife had to help me. This is not a one-man job. We were very careful. The tear was there before we put the um, cover on. It's not very big. It's only uh, um, six inches, five or six inches long, maybe seven. Yeah, seven, about seven inches long, maybe eight. And I don't know, it, look, it looks like if I keep playing with it, it'll become 10 inches. So I'm a little peed about that. That's it. Other than that, everything is good. So I don't know if I should send it back or um, just seal it up with tape. What would you guys do? Yeah, so that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to start filling it now with, um, as I said, seedlings from the other greenhouse. From here, I've got a ton of uh, jackfruit seedlings. Look at them. Look how these guys popped up over summer. There's at least a dozen there. And I've got a lot of uh, sour sop, I believe. Not 100% sure. Seedlings that have popped up. And over here I've got, oops, uh, wompy. Wompy, I'm not sure if they're wompy. I'm just guessing, right? Because these uh, seeds were not labeled. And I've got lemon drop mangosteen, which someone said that's not what it is. And I've got something else back there, which I labeled as abu. Abu. And I've got some mangoes as well from uh, bought fruit, which I just decided to try out as um, uh, seedlings. I've got figs as well and cactus, prickly pear, loquat, but these guys don't need any protection in winter. Thankfully, they're cold hardy and they'll probably stay out here. But he sure won't stay out here. <laughs> That's the green coconut. He's going to go in one of the greenhouses. One of the um, greenhouses that, um, that I'm going to be using. So that's it. That's the video. I'm going to clean up and rearrange the furniture now. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you all from the next video.